<clears throat> this is why I don't dig high tones in the water because I got a, I don't know, it doesn't look too old, but uh, some kind of butter knife, but. like 29 degrees out but uh, I was getting a signal I haven't been finding a whole lot of stuff but I just uh, was picking up that stopper in here and just got myself a blob top bottle Montgomery Brewing Company Montgomery Water Spring Water Company Montgomery Illinois so cool. Yeah, I was picking up that stopper in there. I was surprised I didn't break it. I was just digging really, really big hole with the scoop here. It's awesome. Looking for gold, digging these low tones. Okay, everybody, I'm in my first water hunt of 2019. I dug a few pieces of junk, but getting a really uh, crappy like 12 21 22 signal and I see a ring there and it looks it's stained but it's got that gold that stained gold look I'm gonna walk over here to the uh, to the bank so that way I don't drop it the water's really murky <clears throat> bear with me I got some really thick diving gloves on too because it's hard to, they're not worn in yet. Alright, sorry about that if the camera was zooming. But. Okay, hopefully this is a real deal. I can't tell. Let me get let me get this glove off. I just got these. This is my first time using them, and they're just big and bulky. They got to wear in. So let me take my glove off. I'll turn the camera on and see if we can see what this is. Okay everybody, I spent uh, a couple minutes scraping off all this crud. You can see right there, it says 10K. Look how stained that is. First antique gold of 2019. Awesome. There we go, you can see it right there. It's got another marking next to it, so I don't know, I can't make that out. But I definitely can make out the 10K, and 10K usually stains like this. But I'm fingernailing it and it's coming, it's coming right off. So I'll buff this out and make it look like new. Too bad the stone's missing. Alright, awesome. Hopefully I can get some more. Hey guys, still out here at the river. Just wanted to, uh, just taking a little break, just showing you guys a little tip that you guys can use if you're water hunters or, you know, if you want to make one for your pinpointer on land too. Um, what I did is I had one of those retractable uh, deals where the reel would always get clogged up with sand and mud and it wouldn't work. So what I did is I went to my local Goodwill and they have a bunch of these are old school phone chargers. And what you could do is uh, just cut the ends off of them crimp an eyelid on there and then what I did is I got some heat shrink tubing put over there and just heat shrinked it and they work great and a lot better than a string these things stretch pretty pretty good ways and uh, yeah just um, this one here goes on my camera so 
Just a tip for you guys if you're water hunting or even on land, if you want to uh, put your pinpointer on a tether, your camera, or whatever, I think these are the way to go, and it's only about a dollar or two. So, don't want to show the location because uh, certain people like to follow me around. Won't name any names, but. Okay. Hopefully, I can get another gold ring or some coins. And then what I did is I just put a uh, key ring on the end of the eyelet and I bought these small uh, carabine clips from Walmart. I think they were a couple bucks. So so just a uh, neat little uh, cheap tether system for you guys to show you. Well guys, it's been a while since that first ring, but I just got another one here. It's not looking too good. I haven't picked it up yet, so we'll pick it up together. Oh yeah, this thing's a monster, but it's really light and I can tell it's plated or copper or whatever it is. Man, this thing would be a monster. I wish this was gold. <laughs> wow. But it'll still go in my collection of uh, costume jewelry rings that are 100 years old. Alright, I'm going to keep going. Alright, I don't know if you guys can see this huge hole here. I've been working on it for about 5 minutes. <clears throat> this is why I don't dig high tones in the water because I got a, I don't know, it doesn't look too old, but uh, some kind of butter knife. But the good part is I was scanning over the tailing pile once I picked that knife up and I was just fishing around with the pinpointer and there's a pull tab there and there's a nickel here. I think it's a V nickel. And I was just digging that knife out. Obviously that masked this nickel. That's definitely what it is. It's a V nickel. I can see the stars. I'll uh, I'll get a year on it and a wrap up. But yeah, I was just going over with my detector and I found that pull tab there and I found that nickel and I just set it on top. We just both picked it up together. So cool. All right, I'm gonna keep going. So that's my first coin of the day. Okay, I'm wrapping it up from the river today, so I'm going to show you, I'm turn you around here and show you the junk that I found and what I found today. didn't find a whole lot. It's supposed to rain really bad today. Today is uh, March the 9th, I think it is. So, been out there for, what, four hours, so I'll show you everything we found and show you the good stuff. Okay, so here's the junk that I found. Just bits and pieces, odds and ends, stuff that you dig while you're looking for gold and uh, I did find this button here it looks like a two-piece mother of pearl or some kind of shell and I noticed this one too I found in a scoop and then here's that v-nickel uh, what year was it 1912 1912 it's pretty pretty uh, pretty stained up there you go, you can see the year kind of there. It's definitely a V. Here's that junk ring that I got. I wish this was gold, this would have been a monster. And here is my 10 karat white gold. It looks it looks like it's white gold. You can see in there 10K. But yeah, I'm going to buff this out. I'll get some before and after pics of it. But first gold of the year, I'm happy with it. So, so yeah, it's a short, quick video, short hunt. Uh, didn't find a whole lot, um, but that's how it goes with some of these places. So still waiting for the water levels to go down on a few spots that I have located and try my luck with those. Hopefully they're gold mines. So until next time, happy hunting guys and see you guys next time.